And what's interesting to me is the way people resist what is to us now self-evidently theatrical. You put someone on stage and you paint them while everyone else is watching. Yes. That to me is incredibly theatrical. If yes. you can, if you somehow, do, you know, it becomes a feature of what you're doing. Yes. And you might even have another scene being played while that was happening. That's so the right. eye That's is right. moving That's back right. and forth. That's right. And then they, they somehow blend in a funny way. That's right. And, and the, the, that the audience, that, that um, but that for the longest time, like you're talking about the fact that, oh no, 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 two scenes at the same time? <gasps> no. Well, I'll tell you another one where um, I, think that they, I think that I'd seen them doing the scene or something and then they, they, other people would borrow my, my overcoat yeah. and then in playing they would put their hand in the overcoat and bring things out of the pocket. Sometimes there's a piece of metal or something that I'd picked up in the street and put in there and suddenly it got interesting and used because it, because it was... and other people thought it was obviously put there because the person wanted it for the particular scene. No, it just happened to be there. And then uh, Phil Palou, who is a lovely improviser, was doing the scene where he was coming on in his underpants. Uh, just uh, he only wore, only wearing his underpants. And, and this is the Dante. Yeah, this was part of Dante. Yeah. And uh, he said, I want, I want an object to put inside my underpants. And I'd got in my car, in my in my pocket a, a small um, toy car, which I got from Leo because I put put into the pockets, knowing that it's quite interesting. If they pull things out, and it's it's surprising to them. It's so much the better. And I got this little car, so I said, gave it to him, and he put it in his underpants. And uh, then the second player, who was out of sight when he didn't know that he got this car in the underpants, came on. And he'd got my overcoat, and he'd got several hats, and he'd got several bags, right. and he was dragging some suitcase as well. And he came down, and he settled down, and he wanted to buy things off Phil Palou. And he said, I'm just collecting things at the moment, in this moment in my life, I just find that it's necessary for me to have a lot of stuff, you know, if I feel that that's what I'm, what I'm yeah, about. Yeah. And he'd already got all these suitcases dragging. And uh, Phil Palou said, well, I could sell you a car. He said, um, have you got the car? He said, yes, in my underpants. <laughs> so, it, it, this, it, I mean, so, it so quickly was, yeah. it was and the, the other guy it, it didn't believe him, thought he was going to have to mime yeah. the car in his underpants. <laughs> and he said, um, but uh, have you got money? And the guy said, well, how much do you want? He said, show me your money. And so he, he went in his pocket, and, he, and maybe in my pocket, because he had my cat, <laughs> and brought out like 50p or something. Yeah. So like, 50p? He said, oh, yeah, I could take 50p. So <laughs> then the, this little, uh, so they got into a, yeah. he brought out the little toy car, and they got into a wonder, lovely, quite long improvisation about how can I be sure that if I give you the car that you're not going to you're going to keep it and not give me the money. So they got into a little play of, I want the money, but I don't, I don't want to give you the money before I've got the car. So they got a, a, a wonder, I mean, if they wrote it, they got a very lovely scene out of this car in his underpants. And then what got better was the, boy, the guy bought the car and then he said, um, can I buy your underpants? And Phil Palou actually turned out to the audience, which was the rest of the cast and David Glass, and said, I really don't want to take off my underpants. <laughs> he said, I mean, I feel as an actor, I should retain some dignity or have the right to keep my underpants on. He said, I'm not, I'm not particularly prudish, I, don't, I won't mind no. um, you know, if it's really essential, but, I, but I, I think I should keep my underpants on. And we all said, no, keep your underpants on. So then the guy starts saying, um, I'd, li I'd like to own your underpants. He said, well, you can own them, you can buy them. And I can wear them and I can rent them. <laughs> Rented, rented underpants. So you've got this, this incredible scene, really beautiful scene, out of just the moment of them. Of them and this was filmed, one hopes. Well, I don't know that, no, because they didn't do it in the. the, the